Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. So recently a lot of people have been asking about how I've been measuring FPS with the new counter on the top right hand side of the screen of my recent Mac gameplay videos. And this is a brand new feature of macOS Ventura called the Metal Performance HUD. I was able to get this to work using friend of the channel Mr. Mac Wright's excellent Metal HUD video, which I'll leave a link to in the description. However, today I'm going to show you a method that is even simpler to implement, all thanks to Discord user Tim Curvers, who has shared a method for enabling the Metal HUD globally. And this means that the Metal HUD can now be enabled for any macOS game that uses Metal, and it can also apply to Windows games using Crossover, as long as they are using a Metal translation layer like Molten VK, and it even applies to game emulators like EtherSX2, which has its own native Metal renderer. And today I'm going to show you how to enable this, it's just a single command and it's very easy to use. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So the first thing that you're going to need to have is a Mac that is running the latest operating system which at the time of recording is macOS Ventura. So once you've upgraded what we can do is to move on to the first step. So in order to activate this command we're going to go to the top right hand side of the screen here and then click on the spotlight icon. Then we're going to type in the word terminal and then we'll click on the top line application here. And then what we need to do is to type in this command forward slash bin forward slash launch ctl space set env space mtl underscore hud underscore enabled space one. Once we press return, then the metal HUD will be enabled. So now that this global environmental variable has been turned on, then the metal performance HUD is going to appear on the top right hand side of any game or application that uses metal. Just be aware that a lot of Mac games still use OpenGL, for example, CSGO, and so the metal HUD won't work in that situation. However, the HUD can work on Windows games running through crossover. So for example, here we've got Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, a DirectX 11 title. And the HUD appears here because we are using Molten VK, which is translating Vulkan to the Metal Graphics API. We also have the DXVK HUD turned on and also the Steam overlay in the top left hand corner. So there are now plenty of ways to track frame rate on crossover games. Finally, this should also work great on emulators. I've only tested EtherSX2 so far, which has its own native metal renderer. However, this should also apply to any emulators that also use say Molten VK or anything that translates to metal. So in order to turn off Metal HUD, all we need to do is to enter this command again and change the one to a zero. So we'll enter this code and then press space and then zero and then press return. And now Metal HUD is gonna be disabled. So really the last question is, what do the numbers on the Metal Performance HUD actually mean? The FPS number looks pretty self-explanatory, but what do the numbers on the right mean? Why do they sometimes go to 999.99? And also what is exactly meant by the word composited? What is pre and what is GPU exactly? If anyone has an answer to this, please make sure to leave a comment on this video. Anyway, I hope you found this new method of enabling the performance HUD useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.